Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Pristat chocolates. Um, I have the red velvet truffles, the sea salt caramel truffles. Um, hazelnut praline truffles and pink Marc de Champagne. These, um, they've had these before at Home Goods, and I've never wanted to spend the money on them, but these went on clearance. And so I decided to pick them up while they were on clearance. And the date is still good on all of them. They're still good for several more months. Uh, they were um, they were $3 each. I think one was a different price. These were $3.50. Three, three. Oh yeah, okay, so the sea Somebody salt caramel were three fifty, <laughs> which I didn't notice. Or I, they, I'm sure they would have given them to me for $3. Um, but these were actually made in London and I didn't even know that uh, when I bought them. They're made in Great Britain, it says. These are red velvet. Let's see what they look like. Okay, so you open the box. It's got like tissue paper around it. Yeah, it like a present. Oh, okay. So it's a little bag. So. And there's nothing you can do except cut it. Three servings are in the container. And it says the serving size is 35 grams. So it doesn't tell you. You have to weigh that. Yeah, it doesn't tell you how many you there get. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's so ten. about three truffles yeah. is, is the serving size. You know what, what those look like? What? You know at 4th of July, you know those little smoke bombs that you yeah, like? Yeah. That's what <laughs> that, that looks like, a smoke that bomb. That is what it looks like, you're right. So I'm assuming there, since there's ten in the bag, they're wanting you to get about three per serving, and it's 180 calories. What they look like inside? They're white. Mm -hmm. Like a white cream with a chocolate, and it's got a dusting of red on the outside. So what was that one? Red velvet? Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't like that one. Red velvet should be cream cheese and chocolate, basically. And it doesn't taste like our version of red velvet. No, it's the cream cheesy flavor that's funky. Uh huh. It's like different. It. It's like milk gone bad. I don't mind it. Uh, these are actually made Piccadilly, London. Huh. something. Prestat truffles have been enjoyed for over a hundred years by aficionados of fine food. Of equal importance to us and to our customers are the farmers who supply the chocolate world. Prestat is committed to ensuring that cocoa farmers receive a premium to the market price for their beans. That includes assistance to improve the yield and quality of their crop. Um, well, the chocolate might have been good, but I couldn't taste it overall that whatever that white crud was in the middle. <laughs> oh, okay. This is interesting. I, I didn't, I hadn't read the box before. Um, in not in sorry, in 1895, the chocolate truffle was created by Prestat's founders. Did you know that? Yeah, well, they say that the Dufour family. Um, intrigued by its secret recipe, Raul Dahl, author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, made the Prestat truffle the centerpiece of his novel, My Uncle Oswald. I've never read My Uncle never Oswald. Heard of it. In 1975, Prestat had the honor of being awarded a royal warrant by Her Majesty the Queen. Hmm. Prestat was awarded a second royal warrant by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, in her centenary year. Um, enjoyed in private and offered at state banquets are fine artisan truffles, even traveled the world on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. Isn't that neat? That so, is so neat. Like I said, I, I, anytime I hear read marketing materials that say they were the first to invent something, I always kind of, you have to take it with a grain of salt because it is marketing. Right. They might have been the first ones. But they might have. You know, Which, companies argue about stuff all the time about who was first to do stuff. So. Well, that. That's cool. It. Did don't you mean to leave, no, well, leave it out because well, I want to take a picture it's of it. It's a good one. I liked that. I didn't, uh, Kevin yeah. didn't care for it. I didn't care for it at all. But I do not think it tastes like our red velvet at no, all. It's it, the cream, it's, it's that cream cheese they're going for, that flavor. Yes, yeah, and it, to, it's just completely different. Yeah. It? Uh, now this is sea salt caramel. 
No sea salt caramel. And they, it's the same calories. I wonder if they're all, the, okay. These are the same calorie as the red velvet. And so normally at Home Goods, they're three ninety nine, and I know I only mm. saved a dollar, but it's, oh, it's runny. Well, what do, should I get one of my own or? Thanks a, a bunch. <laughs> I just don't like it. You don't like it at all. Mm -mm. I don't like the caramel. It has a burnt caramel flavor. But it's very, it's still very, very sweet. I don't think I mind the chocolate. Oh, now see, I like that one. That's what I'm saying. I like the chocolate part. I think it's the the filling so far I haven't liked. I think so far. It's not horrible. That caramel wasn't horrible, but it wasn't. It wasn't one. I like it. I like the thickness of it. I like the 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 outer shell. Um, and I like runny caramel. Kevin's never been a fan of runny caramel, so that probably turns you off a little bit. A little too. bit, but even the flavor is just not. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't very sweet, so I'm expecting sweet, and I'm not getting sweetness from it. That could be it too. Now, see, I thought it, the caramel was very sweet. You um, did. I hate the poo poo. On me. No, no, no. You're but, um, hey. You're allowed to have. Uh, I just give you my honest opinion. These are the hazelnut praline truffles, and they're more calories. They're 190 calories. They look just like the salt, the caramel ones. And these, um, this is a dark chocolate cocoa solids. They probably all were, but I didn't look. Okay, that one's more of a a solid, solid, solid center. Hmm. No, I like that one. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. That one's really good. That's my favorite so far. You get the little crunchy sugar bits from the praline. That's delicious. Still has a little bit of a scorch flavor, but, mm. but it's still really good. I like that one. Oh, I love that one. That one's good. That is delicious. The hazelnut flavor is incredible. Mm -hmm. it, that one's and good. It's, um, and I love the center. It's creamy. very creamy. Yeah, yeah. it's very creamy. Um, kind of reminds you of a Lindor. Yes, that yeah. is delicious. Yeah, that one's really good. The first two. I would get that all the time. Now this one is, is what, read about it and tell me what kind of center it is. This Ooh, is the least, um, this this one has the fewest calories. This is 170 calories. I don't know if it has a cream center or a. White chocolate. This is the Marc de Champagne yeah. truffles. It has a, well none of them have a description. I'm just kind oh, of okay. picking it out of here. It's pink. It has a white chocolate. We'll just see if it's whipping right. cream. No, it's not. Milk chocolate. It's chocolate milk. Cocoa Ooh. butter, cocoa Ooh. liqueur. But the the white chocolate, they they've uh, it's pink. Mm, I like that one too. The Martin de Champagne is only three percent. Yeah, they're not gonna pull out champagne. Mm. I like that. I like that too. Yeah, it's a strong champagne flavor. Though. Yes, you can tell that it's in there. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That one's really good. So, so see, I like. Uh, it's not that I dislike the brand. No, no, no. I, I know. just didn't like the centers in those two. But the last two, the hazelnut and the champagne one, was really good. Yes, and and that's that's Ooh. why I'm glad we could get them on sale because then when you see them, you know, okay, I like these, but then I want to leave these. So for me, honestly, I would not get the red velvet again. No. It was okay. There, it, it, it was okay. It just wasn't my favorite. No, it had a funky um, flavor to me. I think my very favorite though was that hazelnut. The hazelnut was probably my favorite. That and then the so champagne good. was number two for sure. Me too. Yeah. And then and the, the other caramel. two, honestly, I would never buy those two again. But if I had to rank them, then it'd probably be caramel and then red velvet. But so you, so hazelnut was hazelnut favorite. was my number one. Although the champagne was awfully good. The champagne, what's neat about the champagne is it seems sweeter. It does seem very sweet. Whereas the hazelnut is more nutty and chocolatey. Yes. The champagne one is more sweet. No, and, I agree. Um, I agree. And it's got that champagne kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. They're awfully close for me. Either one of those would be safe if you bought if you bought those. Yes. Yes. I love these. Yeah. If you only have the money, like I said, they're normally three ninety nine at Home Goods. Uh, in this size, this is a um, 105 grams, 3.7 ounces. So they usually have them in different forms and different packaging and stuff like that. So it's all going to depend on what package you get. 
but home goods is really good for bringing uh, brands like this especially at christmas um so if you can just keep in mind if you can only buy one i would get the hazelnut if you like hazelnuts but then definitely the martin de champagne and yeah, very good really um so you all uh, uh those of you who live overseas you'll have to let us know how expensive these are mm -hmm. over there because, yeah, how much are you paying for these because i know it amazes me that at home goods we can get things cheaper Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheaper oh, than what it costs All in your the way country. over here, yes. Then you can get it in your own backyard. So it's just interesting, interesting to me. So let us know, too, if you've had these, which ones do you like? These are the only four flavors that I saw. Maybe they have other flavors you can tell us about, and I can be on the lookout for them, too. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.